talking drums in this part of the world are called bungung. Very simple in structure, just a large log of wood, any size up to four feet long and a couple of feet in diameter. The one you've just heard is a smaller one. It's hollowed out through one long narrow slit. That's why it's sometimes called a slit drum. It isn't a drum at all, of course. It's really a kind of wooden gong. The cunning part about the hollowing out is that one edge of the slit is made thinner than the other. This gives you two distinct notes when you beat the edge of the slit with a pair of beaters. The thinner one gives a deep note. Singuli sound the low tone. That's the low tone. Now the high tone. That's the high tone. They call the low tone the male, or lumi, and the high note the female, wali. Further up the Congo, strangely enough, it's the high note which is called the male, and not the low note. This is because with their kind of drum up the river, the high note carries the furthest to the distance, and has nothing to do with the sound of a man's or woman's voice. But here the deep note is the stronger. Now just compare the two. Now how do these locales send their messages? It's like this. A talking drum would be no good at all for sending messages in English, because our language is not strictly a tone language. But most African languages are tone languages, and every word has to be given its correct tone. For example, if I were to say in three low tones, Lisaka, it would mean a marsh or a wet place, Lisaka. Or if I said Lisaka, which means a promise with two high, with two low and one high tone, Lisaka, that would mean a promise. But if I use a low and two high tones, which means a poison, Lisaka, Lisaka, Here's another, ayeke, which means let him come, ayeke. Or ayeke, which means quite the opposite, don't let him come, ayeke. We compare the two, ayeke and ayeke. So you see, you have to be careful to get your tones correct if you want to speak an African language. And that is why the Lokeli people were able to invent their drum language. By copying the tones of their words, or really the tones of whole phrases, they were able to send each other messages across and up and down the river, which made sense at the other end. Incidentally, in all Africa south of the equator, it is only in the Congo Basin that you find message drums. Even a hundred miles away from the river, where they still use the same kind of slit drum, they do not know how to transmit messages on them. They are used solely for dancing and sometimes for sending signals, but not messages, as you find here on the Congo River itself. Now, I'm sure you'll immediately ask yourself, how do these African people distinguish between two words of the same tone pattern on the drum? Because surely they must sound alike. The answer is simple. Although they are using the words of their own language, they do not really send messages in single words, but in whole phrases. Single words would not be clear but a phrase would be. For example, everyone has his drum name. One of our drummers here now is called Koko. His drum name is a phrase including both his name and an explanation. Koko Olungula Bukiyokiyo. That means the little chicken which cries Kiyo Kiyo. This phrase is quite clear in its right context. And here's another example. The name for cassava, or manioc, the root which, when properly prepared, makes tabioko, in the spoken Lokele language here at Chukusu, is lomata. But when we speak of it on the talking drum, we must use the phrase lomata utikali kundu, which means the cassava remaining behind in the fallow garden. If we split this up into its individual words, it is clear that the drum or gong simply reproduces the tonal patterns of each spoken word. Lomata, Utikala, Kundu. Now all together, Lomata, Utikala, Kundu. 
Everything, every commonplace object used in everyday life has its drum name or phrase. And of course, everyone knows these phrases by heart. This gong here, this slit drum, is called bungungu. But on the drum itself, it's called bokokowa olundu. The lump of red olundu wood. Now you'll hear the drum again, bokokowa olundu. You often hear stories about the Africans drumming the news when a white man enters a village. In fact, it is difficult to move around these drum message districts without your presence being advertised in this way. The word for a white man is Bosungo, but his drum phrase is Bosungo li mokonda lokonda, which means white man spirit from out of the forest. So you see, when you want to send messages on these Lokeli drums, you must first learn the set phrases in order to get over this difficulty or confusion, one single word being confused with another. Once you get this right, the rest is easy. Now for a whole message. We'll make one up. First of all, we start off with a call sign. Ito, ito, ito. That means attention, pay attention. And then we have to say who we are, the drum belonging to so-and-so, is sending its voice upriver or downriver to a certain place or village. And this is how we start. And I'll read out, first of all, five phrases. Attention, the talking drum goes downriver to the village, to the village of Yakuso. Ito, ito, ito. Bokoko wa olondo. Bule imbole. Kondalika lengeli boke. Diafaka ko alembu. Incidentally, the drum name of Ikusu contains two names of all ancestors of the villages, Afaka and Alembu. We repeat that, Diafaka ko alembu. Now for the message itself, because the people of Ikusu will have recognized their call sign and be listening carefully. We'll call up Chief Choko of Yakusu and ask him to send us some supplies of manioc, fowls, firewood, and bananas. Now, Chief Choko's drum name is Songeli Tangela Mangu, which means the moon looks down on the earth. And to make it still more clear, we give him his full title as well Songeli Tangela Manga Ulungula Butika Elose. And now we'll give several more phrases. Come, 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 with manioc remaining in the deserted garden, with fowls which cry kio kio, with little sticks of firewood, with bananas which must be propped up when ripe, because ripe bunches of bananas on the stalk are inclined to fall over, they get so heavy. Yaku, yaku, yaku. La lumata utikali kundo. La coco ulungula la bukio kio. La tokolo kolo tua torte. La li libo tumbesa. Now we'll have three or four more phrases. Come, 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 come to the white man's spirit of the forest. He is waiting, he is waiting, he is waiting in the house with a high roof of the white man's spirit of the forest. Don't stay behind, don't stay behind, don't stay behind. Now that's the end of our message. And so we sign off with the usual ending, which we beat on the low note the male note of the drum. Do, 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 do. Now this is what the whole message would sound like if you were here in the forest on the edge of this great Congo River.
How do we know that the message has been received at Chief Choko's village? We should hear this reply coming back from the distance. You can only hear messages effectively up to about four, five, or six miles, though sometimes a little longer, according to the time of day and the weather. The best time of day is either early in the morning or just after sunset. Well, our reply should come back something like this. What the drum said is correct. Wait for it, wait for it. The food you want for the white man, everything should be there. Elika umi bungungu eingu. Tangela. Inganaka. Bile me yalusa. Gondo nako yausungu limu. Gonda lukunda. Bile mbule. Bile mbule. Of course, there are messages for all occasions. Births, marriages, and deaths are all announced on the drum. Wrestling matches, markets, and dances are all broadcast. This is what we mean by talking drums of the upper Congo. <laughs> 